This is turbulence. So is this, and this, and this. Turbulence is everywhere. Unpredictable, diffusive, and dissipative. Turbulence puzzles scientists to this day and makes the modeling of fluid flow more difficult. Traditionally, physicists use the Navier-Stokes equations to model and predict the flow of fluids. Two equations make up the Navier-Stokes equations. While complicated looking, these are actually simple, fundamental equations you know. The first equation is just the conservation of mass. It's making sure that we still have the same amount of fluid before and after movement. The second equation is just Newton's second law, F equals ma. Don't believe me? Watch. The sum of pressure change, viscous force, and external force make up the total net force F. With the derivative of velocity over time equaling acceleration and density as a measure of mass in fluids, you can see that the equation is just Newton's second law. Physicists also use another parameter called the Reynolds number to describe the behavior of fluids. The ratio of inertia to viscous forces, a high Reynolds number means that the fluid is turbulent. Faster velocity, bigger pipe diameter, or lower viscosity all mean a higher Reynolds number and more turbulent flow. When applied to the Navier-Stokes equations, the Reynolds number simplifies the calculation by non-dimensionalizing the equations. This process essentially gets rid of the units and allows us to directly compare different physical quantities like acceleration and pressure. Unfortunately, the Navier-Stokes equations don't always work. Sometimes they yield irrational answers that defy the laws of physics. Remember turbulence? That's what messed it all up. Turbulence is like a spoiled child. It doesn't follow the rules and has a desire for chaos. It acts out when there's excess energy, and this fuels its spontaneous behavior and creates messy vortices that cascade and break down in size until they're so small that they become vibrations and heat. With all its energy spent, turbulence then falls asleep until it wakes up and causes all sorts of havoc around the house again. So the vortices are too complex and random for the Navier-Stokes equations to model. But that doesn't make the equations completely useless. It just makes our predictions less accurate as physicists are forced to look at things on a larger scale and use the average instead of considering every single molecule. Fluid dynamics is mysterious and full of surprises. Turbulence in the Navier-Stokes equations literally shape the world around us. With more understanding, we will be able to more accurately predict weather, build more efficient cars and planes, and even unlock many secrets in the universe, such as star formation, Jupiter storms, and the convection currents in the sun. Thanks for watching.